Well, I, the furthest back I can remember is I can remember as a child getting to play on my grandmother's uh, cotton candy trailer. She had a popper that still had, I guess, the original lowering system for the wheels where it was like more like a bottle jack. And I'd get in trouble for playing with it while she was open trying to make money. But even years ago, since I was a kid, we've had chance trailers around. Uh, just years ago, my wife, as she started getting into the food business more serious, she bought her first new chance trailer. And since then, I believe we're on uh, number five. We just took a delivery uh, last fall of a brand new funnel cake trailer that she is totally ecstatic about. Uh, the grosses have been phenomenal, the increases, whereas a lot of people would like to see, you know, just some sort of increase for the, for the amount of money they're investing in a new trailer. Ours has been more than small increases. We have been, had a lot of fairs where we've actually tripled our grosses from what we had. And we had a nice trailer. We had a chance funnel cake trailer in the past. This is just newer, flashier. We took a lot more time to work with the factory and, and everybody at Chance was great to work with to help us get the final trailer, you know, to finesse it just right and get all of the equipment and all the workstations exactly like they needed to be to achieve, you know, a maximum potential with the operation. And I'll say this, that when she first got it delivered, I, I don't work much in the food myself, but I, will, I wanted to step in and help and see what the new trailer was like. And it was actually fun to work in. It's, um, it wasn't what I remembered, you know, years ago, coming in for all the hard work. It actually is very comfortable, and it, it's a very accommodating trailer with the way they've designed the equipment nowadays uh, to be able to just fit everything in and, and maximize the workspace that you have inside the trailers. And so uh, we did take a lot of time on this trailer to get everything laid out just the way we want it. And I know when we ordered our first trailer, our first new trailer years ago, after we got it, she looked back at my wife, looked at things that she might have wanted to change to have made things better. Well, this one she's had for almost a year now, and she has said several times in front of me that if she ordered another new one today, there's not a thing she would change, that it came out perfect. So we make several trips that are over a thousand miles you've got to be able to depend on your equipment to get you from point A to point B without problems. And it starts with a great product. You get the right product and get it developed right. From there, it's just up to you, you know, as an owner to maintain it. And with all of that done and said, uh, these trailers, they go up and go up down the road great. Uh, we're currently right now with, with my wife alone, she's moving with our food operation, four chance trailers. Structure-wise, they are just, I believe a Chance trailer is built just incredible. They've made it to where they're, they're designed to last. They, they are built to last. And some of the trailers, you know, I've seen Chance trailers out there operating that I've came across uh, as independents on a route that were built in the 60s that are still operated today. We've had other manufacturers, we've owned other trailers in the past, and uh, Chance just tops the list for me. The way they've made them so simple, it's one of the ways where Chance excels above so many other manufacturers. There are things that I can remember in the old days where I had to have some of the, the men on the rides come handle raising and lowering awnings or handling some of the upper structure. Nowadays, you can have you know the girls in the food handle everything completely by themselves and they don't really have to strain. It's made, everything is designed to be comfortable from loading the bag in the box systems into the, the locker units on the outside, uh, things that the guys used to have to do. They handle those completely. I, uh, I learned about, first met Mike when we were dealing with Ray on a new trailer. And there was a lot of similarities that I felt with him. You know, we were both starting to take over, you know, within our companies to, to lead them into the new era. And I think Mike has done a great job. Once I, I, it was one thing to discuss with him at the conventions, what his intentions were and the projects he was working on and things like that. But when you make a trip to the factory and you see how he's hands on and he's really working to design these trailers to be able to make them more affordable 
and be able to, to make a profit, which he has to do as a manufacturer. Uh, I was very impressed to see the job that he's doing. And one thing about Mike is we, I've always done my dealings at the factory directly with him. And I'm able to relate to him exactly what I want. And I don't have to worry about him. He, he won't hurt my feelings. If there's something he thinks I'm doing wrong, he'll recommend, he'll let me know I, that I maybe need to reconsider that. And, and he does it in a way where I understand it. And, and I value that, you know, in a manufacturer. He's not trying to sell me what he wants to sell. He's trying to deliver me a product that I'll be happy with to where I'll want to come back in the future and purchase from him again. I'd just like to say I would recommend Chance Trailers to anybody that's looking to get into the food business or improve the operation they have.